So we need to take two screws out on the top here. And this panel comes down like this. And we're going to move the light over here. Okay. I believe that's a uh, little bit over here. Is that better for the camera? Seems to be. Okay, here's the uh, the current charger. And this is uh, uh, one of the factory SeaTac ones uh, that says Ferrari on the package, etc. So, uh, just to go over some tools real quick. This uh, is a battery terminal tool because it has, they're all 10 millimeter, but it has rubber. Uh, so if you accidentally are rotating it here and you touch something metal, you're not going to spot weld your wrench to the car. Uh, these two will spot weld, but are fairly handy. This has a ratchet, as does this one. And uh, this is just your normal mechanical one, which I prefer, actually. So, uh, this the tool I'm telling you to use doesn't actually work on this car. Uh, the, it's a little too tight, and it's not quite deep enough to get in there on either terminal. So, that's out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to basically loosen the two 10 millimeters. Now, on the negative terminal, you don't have to be too careful. And uh, most of the... Uh, manuals you'll see for this would say that you should take the negative terminal off first and actually pull this whole thing off. Can you see this where I'm touching here? Okay. So the reason you would move the remove the negative terminal first is so you don't accidentally arc weld if you're taking the positive terminal off. But we're not going to do that because that would reset my car. It's basically like turning the switch off under the bonnet. And then I would have to go through the self-learn policy. I mean, the uh, auto-learn thing again, you know, for the ECUs and stuff like that. I don't feel like doing it. Unbox the uh, pigtail. Pigtail's got a red and a black wire. It certainly does not take a rocket science. <laughs> a rocket science. Yes, uh, just for the record. I've been drinking some uh, old engine oil. It's sort of a Guinness like taste. It's really not bad. Now, note these pigtails are way too big, so we're going to need a washer. And what I was actually planning on doing is using the old one. I'm going to leave it on here so I can use either charger. I was going to use the old one as a washer, thinking that I am clever like that. That way. What do you do?
Once again, be careful not to short this against anything metal. It would be a, a real problem, and if you do, do everything in your power to knock it off if it gets spot welded. Yes, 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 I've done it. Not on this car. Actually, I've never messed with the battery on this car. Seems to have a... Uh, Can't even tell what kind of battery this is. Alright. So now we've got a pigtail. Positive on positive, negative on negative. We're going to route this up and over. And it's really important to stick a zip tie on this guy. So, if you do accidentally pull it from up under the car, you're not stressing the, uh, the terminals themselves. You're just stressing the, the wire tie, which doesn't hurt anything. There we go. One wire tie. give this about the same, well it's really going to give it about all the length it can have. Alright. Cutters. Okay. And we're all done. And, and basically just put this back in and then to connect the, the charger. Uh, go ahead show you real quick. So here's the c and we're going to take this in, which is a zero insertion force. It's got a nice little uh, button on it. Plug it into the right one. Plug it in like that. And then the CTEC charger is going to uh, go into its various phases here. And since this battery's uh, charged, it's going to go probably into stage four in just a second. And uh, eventually, when you get back to your car, there will be a nice green light on it that says it's fully charged. All right, that's it.